Firewire is dead, and I mean really, really dead. Thoroughly deceased. If you're on Windows 11 or an M1 Mac, your perfectly functional audio interface is now or will soon become a brick. Let's use the Sapphire Pro 40 as an example. Focusrite ended support for this guy with Windows 10, and they did the same for Mac OS Catalina. Fortunately, the Linux drivers, they're a result of reverse engineering and built in the Linux kernel. So when you plug it in, welcome to Linux, where manufacturers don't get to decide when functioning hardware ends up in the landfill. But now's a good time to answer the obvious question. Why would you want to use a Firewire audio interface in 2023? Let's have a look at the specs directly from the Focusrite manual. On the left, I have the Scarlett Solo Gen 3, and on the right, we have the Sapphire Pro 40. When they're sitting side by side, the first thing you notice is there's not much of a difference between the mic noise, dynamic range, THD, frequency response, gain range, and sample rate. They even use the same converter. 14 years later, and not a lot has changed. That's because the industry figured out how to do digital recording by the mid-2000s. And you might be asking yourself, where do you get Firewire in 2023? Both StarTech and Seba, Saiba? make PCI Express FireWire cards. Both of them have the 2213B TI chipset. And the biggest difference I found between the two was that the StarTech cost $40 more. There'll be a link to both of them in the video description. Installation under Linux is as simple as plugging it in. Also, a little bit of a PSA. These things are useless. They will not convert your USB ports into FireWire ports. Don't waste your money. How do you know what FireWire interfaces are compatible? Well, that's the neat part. You don't. The Fado project maintained a list, but it was never repopulated after a side update in 2020. I maintain a small list at linuxgamecast.com. It's far from comprehensive, but it is accurate. Pipewire and Pulse Audio rely on the also FireWire stack. These drivers, they should be considered under development. That said, if all you want to do is listen to audio and have the occasional voice chat, you're good to go. However, if you plan on using a digital audio workstation like Reaper, Bitvig, or Adur, you're going to want Jack and Fado. Installing Fado and Jack is really straightforward. On Debian, all you have to do is install Jack D2, Firewire, Fado Mixer QT4, and of course, QJack CTL. In order to use the FADO drivers with Jack, you have to prevent the ALSA drivers from loading. But that requires knowing what chipset your audio interface uses. Or possibly not. We're going to go Scorched Earth and create a blacklist with all of them. In order to do that, I'm going to use Nano to create a blacklist conf and ETC mod probe D. Inside of this, I'm just going to blacklist every single driver. And this is easily reversible. But once that's there, I'm going to press Control X. Y to save, and enter to confirm. Now we need to run sudo update init ram fs u and restart the machine. Now we're able to start QJAC CTL, select the firewire drivers, and we're good to go. Unless your interface has an internal mixer. In that case, you're going to want to run Fado Mixer and configure it for your setup. If you're in the market for a multi-channel recording interface for pennies on the dollar, and you're not afraid to get your hands a little dirty, Firewire is still an incredible value. If I was going to recommend a Firewire interface in 2023, the two that come to mind are the Motu Traveler MK1. It is a great workhorse interface that does a little bit of everything, and I use it daily in the studio. And another favorite is the M-Audio ProFire 2626. These things have become ridiculously cheap, eight preamps, and the quarter-inch inputs bypass the preamp for the line in. Plus, it has an option to add 16 additional channels using ADAT. So if you're looking to mic a drum kit, you can't beat it. There'll be links to both of them in the video description. And there you go. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section or become a patron like these beautiful party people flying by on the screen and come hang out with us in our Discord. But most importantly, get out there and make something awesome.